in May 2015. I was on the freeway and I was rear-ended. Just imagine yourself driving and all of a sudden somebody hits you in the, in the back so hard that everything freezes. My name is Benito Casillas and I am a preventive maintenance scheduler in JBS Talisman. I actually was able to drive back home and I explained this whole story to my wife. I told her, I was in an accident, I survived it. She told me, what's wrong with you? What happened? Did anything happen to you? Nothing, I just got this crazy headache. Within an hour, two hours, I kept telling her, what time is it, what time is it? I didn't notice that I was saying over and over, asking questions, and then my headache, it was pounding more and more and more to the point that I told her, we, we gotta go, my head's killing me. So we actually went to the emergency room, then they asked me, okay, can I have your name and your date of birth? And then I just looked at her like, name and date of birth. I started struggling, and then like, what's your name? And then, what's your name? And then after that, the lady started you know, checking me, asking me questions, I couldn't answer none of her questions anymore. They told me you had a mild concussion. You, you have all the signs. I noticed that I started forgetting basically everything, little by little, my parents, my mom, my sisters, brothers. Basically, I forgot everything. My head was actually messing with me. You're worthless, you're good for nothing, you're done. So then I started realizing like, hey, well, I ain't done. It's just, I'm just having a hard time. And that's when I realized I'm fighting for my family and getting back to my feet again. When I was actually going through all my therapies with doctors, JBS was very supportive, day one. I had to show up so many documents that I couldn't f figure out how to fill them out. My wife, she's mostly Spanish, English, you know, she understands English, but not to the point that she could fill out all these documents. And HR, Malika, would actually help me out. She would actually send all the documents to the, to the doctor, the therapist, and she would go beyond her role. Oh, I got you, after hours. And she would actually send them out. After three months of family leave, they could have replaced me, but they, they held my position. Once uh, I came back to work, um, I was still basically damaged. I would just send the computer and I was like, what am I doing in this computer? I didn't know how to type. I didn't know how to write anymore. Read, it was just so difficult. Words, I didn't know what they meant. Sometimes they would, they would ask me stuff and I would just, I don't know what is it. I stumbled upon a video that I used to give trainings to everybody. I would just train everybody and then I would keep those videos. Seeing those videos, I got way better in the computer. My coworkers, they would actually bring old memories. They would tell me the stories that we had. And then they would actually train me. The people that I trained, they were now training me. And then I learned so much out of them. And then we all worked as a team. Now, um, basically I live like a regular person with a little glitch. My memories, the old ones, they're gone. I'm just making new memories and taking it day by day.